Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to draw a vector dog from scratch and how to make an illustration from the first step, which is sketching. So, let's bring a piece of paper and a pencil to start. For sure, the first thing that you need after deciding what to draw is to sketch. I usually use Pinterest to get my inspiration. You can simply search for poodle photos, for example, to see some references. Then you can draw a couple of them to see which one works better in your artwork. And then, of course, make some changes here and there. This picture seems to be a good fit for the poodle illustration, so let's make a rough sketch out of it. The fact that you want to make it digital or on paper really depends on you. I prefer pa paper for the ideas and then uh, transfer it to my iPad. When I want to color it in a digital version, I usually make my final sketch in Procreate. You don't have to do this step, but um, it's just an option. Even having a photo from your pencil uh, will work. So after the pencil sketch, I will transfer it to my iPad and make a clean version of it, which I did before. Okay, now it's time to color. What I usually do is test colors here and there to see which one fits better. Well, as artists, we all have a couple of favorite colors or if you don't have, it's time to make a nice color palette for yourself because colors are one of the important elements in a design and they can level up your illustration. At the same time, selecting the wrong color could ruin the structure of your illustration. I test the colors in Procreate first to decide which one works better in my illustration? You can do the same or just pick your colors in the last step. After that, just import the sketch file into Vectorinator app and start the color. In the Vectorinator, I use the pen tool to make different shapes for each part of the illustration. The tools that you use are up to you. I prefer pen because it's easier for me to work with it, but you can also use pencil tool or even brush tool. The tools have different features, so after a while, you will find out which one works better for you. The pros of working with digital lecture illustrations are that you can change the colors after you made everything. And there are lots of limitless colors to use. 
but the cons are that it could be confusing so as experience i found that it's better to decide in advance which colors you want to apply To make vector illustrations easier, before starting, try to imagine everything as a separate object. To see if uh, you could use geometrical shapes or a freeform shape out of the pen tool. For example, these circles are easier if you use the oval tool, but I should mention again that it really depends on your style if you want it to be a perfect shape or hand drawn. Maybe at first this looks a bit hard, but everything gets easy with practice. And by the way, what is your favorite pet? Do you have any dog, cat, or other animals? To be honest, I'm a cat person, but I also like dogs. But for now, I don't have any pets. What about you? Are you a cat person or a dog person? Let me know in the comments. If you have a pet, you can start drawing your pet right now. Try to draw it and make a nice illustration out of it. And I would be happy if you share it with me on Instagram. After adding colors to each part, I will add some shadows here and there to level up the illustration. You can do this in different ways. You can make a shape and remove some parts or just copy and paste twice to make duplicate objects on top of each other and move the top object a bit to one side and then subtract them from each other. Oh, and don't forget to turn on multi-select mode to easily select both of the objects. The next step is to just make it a bit darker to imply the shadow effect. I think this dog hasn't any emotion in her face but overall I like it. I should say in dog breeds I really like poodles. There's something special about their fancy haircuts and their proud posture that makes them stand out from the others and they are super cute. Okay now for the background you can use a mix of bright colors that create a cheerful atmosphere. I chose red and yellow to match it with this dark blue and help the poodle to pop out from our illustration. 
and here is the final result so there you have it i hope you enjoyed it and feel inspired to create your own art bye